want you all to imagine a world with infinite possibilities. A digital jungle, a place where robots, intelligent machines are working for you. You must have seen the movie Iron Man. Do you remember Jarvis? Did you like Jarvis? You remember how Jarvis controlled Tony Stark's entire house? Imagine having the capability, resources and intelligence of building your own Jarvis. Think about a future where you could be commanding your own robot to turn on lights for you, do some shopping for you, order food for you, order a cab for you, play some music for you, play movies for you. All of that with a, while you are sitting on your couch or maybe running on your treadmill without even having to pick up your phone. My friends, that future is right now. We are living in an era which is beginning to see such fascinating advancements in technology at an exponentially fast rate. This, my friend, is the era of artificial intelligence. Okay, but this term artificial intelligence sounds a bit intimidating, doesn't it? What's it all about? Let's break it down. Do you know what Jarvis stands for? Just a rather very intelligent system. And that's exactly what AI is. A very intelligent system. And you know what? It's not just really intelligent. It's rather really cool too. Check this out. Here's a video of my room where the smart machine is automatically turning on light and music for me. Alexa, I'm home. Welcome back. Akshat, you must be tired. Let me play some music for you. Alexa, turn the light white. Well, this kind of thing happens kind of every evening after I come back home. So here's another video where a robot is serving food to me in my city, Bangalore. Dear guests, your order has been delivered. Thank you. Hello, here is your dish. Please take it away. Isn't this all amazing? You see, things we imagined 10 years ago are possible now. Things that were not possible 10 years ago have become possible, accessible, easy, and even obvious today. A decade ago, researchers thought that it was impossible for machines to differentiate between a cat and a dog. And today, the computer vision systems do that with more than 99% accuracy. Or oh, who would have thought that we would be able to talk to machines and make them do whatever we want? Or that there'll be such amazing self-driving cars ready to be run on the roads of the US. But how does it all work? We've heard so much about this mystical, mystical realm of artificial intelligence. Even tried to read a bit about it, but somehow couldn't happen to wrap our heads around it. Well, Let's demystify it today. But before we get into the depths of artificial intelligence, let's understand what it actually means. You know, for a system or for a computer to be artificially intelligent, it simply means having the perceiving ability which is accessible only to human beings today. For example, recognizing something after seeing or hearing it. A computer can hear through a microphone or see through a camera, but Recognizing that face in an image or that voice in an audio is what differentiates a normal computer from an intelligent computer. And if you think about it, this ability of recognizing the data, making decisions based on that data, remembering those decisions and then evolving ourselves on the basis of those decisions is what differentiates us human beings from animals. And this is exactly what differentiates intelligent machines from normal computers. But you know what? All these things, all these advancements, the way AI work right now, hasn't been there like this since ever. There have been a lot of failures for AI to reach till this point. Check out some of these funny instances. One. All right. Now, having defined artificial intelligence, let's unravel the mystery behind it. You know what? This actually reminds me of a famous question by Alan Turing. Can machines think? Well, it turns out they can. 
AI attempts to learn the same way that we humans do. I wondered how we learned as kids. Anyone remembers here how we learned as kids? Nobody ever told us any set of rules. We used to learn by observing things. Our teachers used to teach us A for apple, B for ball, C for cat, by showing us the images of an apple, a ball, and a cat. And somehow, we just used to get it. Well, that's exactly how AI learns, by mathematically understanding the data. I'll give you an example in order for you to understand more better. For example, if I feed the AI algorithm a set of cat images labeled as cat, and a set of dog images labeled as dog, the algorithm automatically def defines the different features and distinguishes between the different objects, for instance, cat and dog in this case, and mathematically assigns the, pro the differences between these two. The cat automatically learns features like a cat has a round face or a dog has a long face. We don't tell AI that cat has a round face. It just mathematically defines those features and assigns it in its own memory. If you think about it, isn't this how we learned from picture books that had pictures ranging from everything like fruits and vegetables to birds and animals? We somehow used to just understand it and then remember it forever. Now, this makes sense. But how does it matter? Well, it magically enables us to do unfathomable things which previously only human beings could do. For instance, do you really think that we could program all lakhs and lakhs of possible maneuvers in a self-driving car? Like when to brake, when to accelerate, how to avoid an accident, or what to do in case of accident? No, we cannot. Wouldn't it rather be much easier for us to simply generate that data from the wisdom of thousands and thousands of drivers and then feed it to the AI algorithm so that it automatically learns all of this from the wisdom and experience of thousands of others. Hmm. But this actually leads to another question. If our main goal is to make AI think like human beings, then why on earth would we want to create another software that actually drives like a human in a place where we already have billions of drivers? You see, what if we apply the same concept to do the job of a bomb disposal squad? without having to risk any human life. Or imagine creating a smart drone that automatically detects human beings stuck in calamities and then help them rescue from those places where other human beings cannot reach. The thing is, my friends, that we don't want AI to just think like humans. We want them to be better, more consistent and accurate in when they think and act like humans. For instance, the cancer detection algorithm today performs much more better than real doctors. Don't you think that would drastically help in increasing the life expectancy of patients? Well, it certainly would. The applications of AI are in every possible domain. You name it, entertainment, fashion, engineering, business, medicine, you name it, and you will find the applications of AI there. And you know what's more important is? That there are hundreds of research necessities business possibilities and job opportunities in this field that once you plunge into this amazing domain of AI, you will have the necessary skills of getting employed or even better, creating employment in your own country. And the best part is that you are living in 2019. You don't necessarily need a science or an engineering degree to get started with the process. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of amazing YouTubers and bloggers who have given out all of, the, all of this information for free, from beginner to advanced level. All you need is a willingness to learn and a hunger to grow. Stay committed, keep growing, dream big, and big will be the future that you live in, my friends, because let me tell you very frankly, your artificially intelligent future is going to be very real and very beautiful. Always remember, big ideas have small beginnings. Thank you.